Okay, now I'm going to be working with this piece of chicken. And for this piece of chicken, I'm not using all of the seasonings that I just used on the main um, dish. I'm just going to go ahead and add a little pepper. Um, I think I'm going to add a little garlic powder. Uh, add a little paprika. And I'm going to add a little onion powder. And the reason I'm doing that is because these are flavors that are pretty neutral. Um, I'm not going to be using any of my Sasson seasoning. So I won't be using this because I don't want any flavors that could potentially take away from the flavor of the sauce. So remember, this is a taste test. So it's important to get, you know, some type of, um, you know, be able to tell what what the what it actually tastes like you know so i got my pepper and my onion powder and here's the garlic powder and just a little paprika and then we're gonna go ahead and Flip this over and repeat. And I'm trying not to put too, too much because again, I want the flavor of the chicken to marry with the sauce and so that I can give you guys an honest review. And I think this will also help people too because I, I read that it's good for um, using on sandwiches. And it says perfect for adding to sandwiches or a bowl of roasted veggies. <laughs> That's me. And again, I'm going to be putting this, I'm also going to be using it on the ravioli. So I'm going to taste the ravioli by itself and then I'm going to taste it with the sauce. Okay, so let's get over to the stove. I'm thinking this whole time I'm recording. So, I don't know. I don't know how I did that. But anyway, I got, I put a little butter in the pan. Got my front burner turned down. My piece of chicken and I only used the garlic powder, onion powder, paprika and pepper on both sides. I put a pot of water on to boil. I'm going to put my two pieces of ravioli in there and let that go as soon as that comes up to a boil because it says it's going to take five minutes. Um, so right now I'm going to go ahead and break and mix up the spread in a little bowl with some, um, with some, uh, broth. So I'll be right back. All right. We about to put these ravioli in the water. The water is boiling and it said five minutes. So. That's one, and that's two. And I didn't put any oil or anything in the water. I'm just going to let them go. And as you can see, my chicken is doing really well. And I just added... Uh, a little water to the pan. So I'm going to let that go a little bit longer before I uh, add the sauce. I want that to be done. And this is what the sauce is looking like. Okay. Gonna toss just a little bit of broth in here to help that chicken along. And I got me a little bowl that I'm gonna put the orzo in. 
put it in the microwave. Because again, I'm not getting eating much of this. And I do not want it cold. I don't want to put the whole container in the uh, microwave. So this is the orzo. So I'm going to put that in the microwave in just a little bit. Ravioli is doing really nice. And I love it. This, and again, this one is um the, the polenta and wild mushroom ravioli. That's the one that I'm having. So I got two pieces of that. Chicken is still going. Ravioli is going. So I think I'm ready to put my uh Turn this down and let me um, put the chicken, the thick side down. And we're going to go ahead and drizzle that. And again, this is the lemon dill spread. And we are praying that... <laughs> This turns into a nice sauce because that'll be um, an alternative use for the spread <clears throat> that maybe somebody didn't think about. And I had a hard time with, uh, I'm turning that the ravioli off because it really doesn't take that long for ravioli to cook. So I went ahead and turned that off. And I am going to meet you guys upstairs for the taste test in just a minute. What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming to you with a product review. Everybody on social media is reviewing Tabitha Brown's food line and I have to admit y'all I did not jump on this so therefore I missed out on a whole lot of products I didn't get the popcorn I didn't get um the burgers the sausages uh there were some of the like the spreads and different things that that I, did, I couldn't find and so I did get quite a quite a few things. The first store I went to, they only had the nuts. So I, I got the the um, cashews and the mixed nuts. They had the trail mix, but I didn't get it at that time. So yesterday I had to drive into work and um, I had to stop by my daughter's house on the way home. And so there's a Target down the street from her. And I did really well there. I was able to get all of the spreads. I got three of the, the ravioli they only had one flavor of the hummus. I, I got all of the pasta, but there's still so much in her product line that I wasn't able to find. There are two other targets that I can go to. I'm gonna hit those and see if I can get anything different than what I already have. If I can't find it, then I'm just gonna chalk it up that I missed the mark, y'all. I just missed the mark. But today what I decided to do, because I had to cook. So I went ahead and I have, um, let me turn this around so that you can see. I have a, um, a chicken thigh. And what I did is I seared it off in um, a little small saucepan and a small skillet. And um, I decided to do something a little different because I also have Tabitha's. This is the pasta that's made with the orzo. And then I have two of the ravioli. So I took her spread. This one is the lemon dill. I took her spread. And I thinned it out with a little chicken broth and I made a sauce. So the sauce is over the chicken and it's over the ravioli. And I messed up because I was supposed to have one ravioli with sauce and the other one plain so I could taste the ravioli by itself. And I forgot y'all. I stuck it in the pan with the chicken and just kept on moving. Um, the orzo that's here. I've never eaten orzo cold. 
So I heated mine up. I've seen a lot of people when they do the taste test on the pastas, they're eating the orzo cold. So I don't know because um, it doesn't say um, on the container, but I've never had a cold and I didn't want to eat it cold because I didn't think I would like it just on, just on the fact that it will be cold. So this is the lemon dill pasta and it's the, the one that has the orzo. The other, she got a potato salad and then she also has a pasta salad that has pasta noodles. This has the um, orzo pasta in it. And then of course the ravioli that I told you that I, I have, this is the uh, polenta and wild mushroom ravioli. And I only fixed two of these um, because I, you know, I can't eat that much and I didn't want to waste the food and I'm cooking a little later on for my husband. I got the chicken going downstairs for him, but I'm going to do the sides a little later. The other, and oh, let me just explain. This is lemon dill. This is lemon dill. This is not lemon dill, but I wanted to taste the ravioli. So I put the lemon dill spread into a sauce over it. But then she also had the lemon, lemon garlic dill um hummus so i'm going to be tasting i'm going to, going to go ahead and taste the food first because it's hot and i don't want it to be cold um and then i'm going to taste the spread the way that it was meant to because it says that you could um you could add it to sandwiches or over a bowl of roasted vegetables so i'm going to try the spread i'm going to try the hummus okay so i'll do that in just a little bit but right now i'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try the um I'm gonna try the orzo pasta and I'm gonna try the um the ravioli and then I'm gonna take now for the chicken I didn't heavily season the chicken because I wanted to taste the sauce I wanted to see if I would like the sauce if I like the sauce and I'm gonna use more of the sauce and I'm gonna put it on the chicken that's downstairs cooking um and I just thought that was a good idea because I figure anytime you buy products like this, you really can use them in different ways. And so I just wanted to try and, you know, show that you can use the products in different ways. They don't always have to be used in the way, you know, according to the information that is on the, um, the container. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this tasty. And I'm gonna try the uh I'm gonna try the orzo first. I'm gonna wipe off my fork because it has a sauce on it, so I don't want to cheat, right? So I don't want to put the fork in my mouth to clean it off and then be like, uh, because I want the whole experience. So this is the lemon dill orzo. All right, tab girl. I'm gonna tag you in this video. Now, I will say I'm glad I heated it up. And I love orzo. I really, really love orzo. Um, I think that for somebody, even if you like lemon, and even if you like dill, I think that this might be just a tad bit uh, bitter. Um, it's not nasty. It's just, you know, the first bite. I'm, I'm seriously not getting anything but the lemon and a dill. And I was kind of, because it has bell pepper. Let me see. It says that it has um, orzo with tomatoes, yellow bell peppers, garlic, and in a lemon sauce. And I was kind of hoping for uh, a little bit more flavor. Again, you can taste the lemon and you can taste the dill, but I think it might be just a tad bit too much without some type of seasoning. Now, what I will say is um, you can always add your own. Just because it's, it's a prepared dish does not mean that you can't add your own seasoning. So I like it, but I think for the sake of like eating it and enjoying it, I would have to add a little bit of seasoning to it. Because it does have, um, outside of the lemon and the dill, I'm not getting any of the bell pepper. Mm. But it's just, a t it needs a tad bit more flavor for me. But 
again, I am absolutely happy that I heated it up and didn't eat this coal. Because I was watching the vegan, the ghetto vegans, and they they ate it. I think they ate it cold, but I think uh Marie was probably the only one that liked it. I have to go back and watch. So anyway, let's get into this uh ravioli. So again, I have I have two of the ravioli, and I did make, I think I have a little piece. Let me see. Oh no, it's gonna have sauce on it. So the the ravioli has the polenta. Ooh, and I love polenta. Um, they used to make these polenta cakes in our cafe every week, and I would go over there make myself sick eating them things. Oh, it was so good. So I love polenta, and I I am y'all know I'm a huge fan of mushrooms. I put mushrooms in everything I can. So this is how it looks. That's the filling. And I do have some of the sauce on the bottom of there. Hmm. I think I'm going to cut into it just a little bit more because I didn't get much of that filling. So what I did was I just cut like this is most of mostly filling. And I'm going to go ahead and taste this. It has a little bit of the sauce on the bottom, but I'm going to go ahead and taste this like this. And then I'm going to use the um the remainder of it to taste with the sauce mm. very earthy she I, I guess most of her products are really on the and i can understand why she would do that they're they're lightly seasoned or seasoned like really really light and I guess for people who don't cook with a lot of seasoning or somebody who can't handle certain seasonings, it would make sense because you're selling to the masses. You're not selling to like one particular population of people. You know, even senior citizens, you know, are buying your product. So now I'm going to go ahead and I got plenty of sauce on here. And the sauce is neutral. But it makes the ravioli taste really good. Mmm. I'm going to try the sauce with the chicken. I just slow down and make myself full. So now, I have a piece of chicken again. The chicken is only seasoned with pepper, paprika, onion powder, and garlic powder. I didn't put any sasson seasoning, nothing that had salt in it. Everything was very neutral because I wanted to taste the sauce. Mmm. Yep. Okay, y'all. So all I did was took a little broth and about a tablespoon of the, of the spread and thinned it out. That's all I did. I'm not going to have to thin it out for the chicken downstairs because I am going to do that. I like the way that it tastes. Um, and the chicken downstairs has additional season, additional spices on it. But um, I don't have to thin it out because the chicken is producing enough liquid that I can go ahead and just stir it in and just get a whisk to, to thin it out. That's really good, y'all. So, FYI, you can use this to make a sauce for your food, okay? And even if you don't put it over meat, again, you can probably put it over like veggies or something like that. It is vegan, so if you want to keep your meal vegan, put it over your vegan meat or your meatless meat. Um, mm-hmm. Let me move on before I be full. I'm really feeling that. And again, the orzo is not bad. It's not something I'll... These are not products I'll buy every day because this is a special occasion, so to speak. And these are things that you could, you know, like the orzo, you can make that at home. Um, 
I probably would buy the the um ravioli again. So let's go ahead and check it out. I want to check out this spread. And I have these sea salt uh pita chips because I wanted something neutral to try the uh the spread on. I didn't want it to be like a flavor or anything. I want it to be less flavor as possible. So this is just this spread by itself. Mm -mm. So the reason I wanted to try this by itself because the, it says you can put it on a sandwich. So I guess it would be kind of replacing mayo. And I can see that because it has the flavor of the lemon and the dill and the garlic. And I can see a really um, hearty um, sandwich with this as the, uh, as a, in place of mayo. So, all right. So let's go ahead and try the hummus. Now I love hummus. I love Greek food, Mediterranean food. I love, I love all things non-American. I love, you know, American food too, but I just, I enjoy food from other cultures and things like that. Experimenting with different flavors and whatnot. So this is the uh, lemon garlic dill hummus. And that's what that looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and get some. And I'm going to make sure that I get some of this in the middle. Because that's where the flavor is. And put that on my chip. It's, it's really um, light. You know what I'm saying? The flavor is there because it's hummus, but it's really... I'm not double dipping, y'all. This is the side I was eating off of. Uh-oh. But it's really light. The flavor... And I'm not, I'm not talking about the hummus is light. The flavor of the hummus is really light. But it's inviting... So I think that um, if you're a person that likes hummus, you'll like this. But I definitely would eat it with um, something like this that doesn't have any flavor. So that you can actually enjoy the flavor of the lemon and dill. Lemon, dill, and garlic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. I think I did good. Um. And I wanted to do this like this because all three of these are the same flavor. So I figured I could do kind of a twist on it. And I'm glad that I did. But baby, this uh, mushroom ravioli, yes ma'am. Mm-hmm. My husband is really going to enjoy this. And I am definitely going to go ahead and add that spread to um the chicken downstairs so it's going to turn my my chicken downstairs into a lemon dill chicken right but yeah that's good y'all and the orzo my recommendation would be to to all i did this little i put a table maybe two tablespoons of, of the pasta salad in here and I put it in for 30 seconds. But I would add definitely like some pepper and no salt, but some seasoning, some type of seasoning. 
to kind of kick the flavor up just a little bit. And I think you're allowed to do that because that's your business. <laughs> All right, y'all. That was my taste test of the Tabitha Brown uh, lemon dill hummus orzo pasta spread and the polenta and wild mushroom um, ravioli. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. I'm going to be coming back um, because since I tried to make a sauce out of this, I think I want to try to do that with the others. I had to get some drink, y'all. Anyway, um, I will... Uh, it, there's going to be a couple of these videos, uh, more than a couple, uh, a few of these videos coming because I can't taste test all of this stuff in one sitting. There's no way that I can do it. And my husband is just way too busy for me to try to uh, pin him down to try to do a video with me or for me. But anyway, so the next video that I, I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to come back and I'm going to do one on the two different nuts. And I'm just going to for one, y'all. I got the two nuts first and we've been chomping on them nuts. <laughs> So I already know what they taste like, but I'm going to come back on camera and give y'all my review. And so then I'm also going to throw in, throw in, throw in the uh, trail mix with that. I haven't tasted the trail mix, so I'll let y'all know what I think about the cherry. It's called the cherry and granola trail mix. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and get out of here, but y'all know we're not going to do so without saying love yourself, love somebody else. And until next time, y'all take care. Oh. And if y'all have not signed up for Fetch Rewards, go ahead and scan my QR code, sign up for Fetch Rewards. You're shopping anyway. You might as well be able to get something back. You scan your receipts and those receipts translates into points. Those points translates into dollars and baby, boom, you got you a store credit card, a cash card. You can donate it to charity, whatever you want to do. Come on and join the Fetch family, y'all. Scan that code. Bye.